Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from WholesaleUSADresses.com. Today I'd like to discuss with you whether you should provide your wholesale inventory list to customers. I'm going to give you, you know, positive reasons to do it, reasons not to do it, and then you're going to make your decision what do you think is best for you. So, wholesale inventory list is basically a list that has all the merchandise that you have available. If you sell dresses, if you sell suits, if you sell shoes, if you sell handbags, you would have a list of an inventory, and that's the list that potentially would provide to your customers. Now, there are benefits. The benefit of giving the list to your customers is in that they know what you have available, right? If they know what you have available, they can make a purchase. Another benefit is if they see what that they like what you have, then they're going to be that much more inclined to come do business with you, visit your warehouse, or place an order online. Now, the downside is that if your inventory does not seem that extensive, people might be reluctant to buy from you. Let's say you have the most beautiful dresses, but you only have 50 dresses available. People are going to be hesitant to do business with you because you're going to, you're, you're going to say, look, you only have 50 dresses. I don't know if you're not going to really come across as, um, you know, as a very serious seller. Now, another negative of giving your list is that you might actually be giving your list to a competitor instead of to a customer. And your competitor just might want to judge what kind of merchandise you have so that your competitor could copy you and then start carrying the same merchandise that you have. So you really need to decide what is better for your business. Now, if you are going to have a wholesale inventory list, you can provide it once you've already spoken to your customer. Or you can you know, only give it to people who have actually purchased from you. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you only have an example of the 50 dresses, and you don't tell that to someone. They come to your warehouse, or they place an order, and that's all you have. Well, they're not going to be that happy. So you don't want to be in a situation where you don't have that much merchandise to begin with. So what I would recommend to you is to only have a list, so to speak, if you do have a lot of merchandise, and to make sure you have a lot of merchandise. And you can get a lot of merchandise two ways. You can buy all the merchandise. That's one way. Or the second way is you can find wholesale sources for that merchandise, find out what they have available, get their permission, and start marketing their merchandise. And if you don't need the permission, let's say they're just looking for people to buy from them and they're okay with people marketing their merchandise, then you want to start marketing that merchandise as well. And if you have access to it and you're sure that there's a steady and constant supply of that merchandise, then you can add it to the, a list of merchandise, not that you actually have, but the list of merchandise that you can sell. Now, it's still not going to avoid the issue of potentially giving a lot of good business information to your competitors, but I think it's worth that risk because by having, you know, even a general list of what you have, it doesn't have to be an exact list, but having a general list of what kind of merchandise you have, you're going to attract more people who are going to be interested then to do business with you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. My website is wholesaleusadresses.com. Thank you and have a great day.